Hello everyone, we will continue the topic and in the previous video, our input and output parameter are ready. Now we will write the logic in the usual ABAP class method. So I will go to the method and I will click on to source code button. If you remember in the function module, we are writing the logic between function and end function in case of your, in case of our class method, we will write the logic between method and end method. Now, firstly, we will write the logic from which table VBAK, then we will go for VBAP table. Now, I will go to SC11 transaction code and I will open VBAK table. Now, from VBAK table, I require these four columns. If I want four column, it means I require a internal table of four column. If I require a internal table of four column, it means firstly, I require a structure type of four column. So I will firstly create a structure type of four columns. So I will write types begin of. Suppose my name of the first structure is LTY underscore data. And best practice, always open the table in a new session and copy paste. VBELN type. We will pass the data element of VBELN. Then we will go for ERDAT. Data element of ER cat. Then third column ERZET type. Data element of ERZET. Then we will go for ER num type data element of ER num. I will end this particular structure, end of structure. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. So I will declare internal table through data internal table type table of what is my name of the structure lty underscore data whenever we are using structure type we have to use the keyword type table of control d is the shortcut to duplicate a line and i will declare work area Work area is never, never a table. So I am removing table one. So my first structure, first internal table and first work area is red. Now I will go for the creation of second structure of VBAP. So I will open VBAP table. Now from VBAP table, we need to display the data of these two columns, but we need to compulsory take VBELN. Yes, because it is common and we will match based upon this common field only. So I will create a structure from VBAP table of how many column? Three column. So I will create a second structure types begin of I will write LTY underscore data one. Suppose the second structure name is LTY underscore data one. I will now copy from VBAP table. First column VBELN 
टाइप डेटा एलिमेंट ऑफ वी बी एल ऑलवेज बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस ओपन द टेबल इन ए पैरल सेशन एंड कॉपी पेस्ट पोस्टना टाइप डेटा एलिमेंट ऑफ पोस्टना Now we will go for third column, Matena. Type data element of Matena. Now we will end this particular structure. So my second structure is also ended. Now we will create the second internal table and second work area. copy paste and now i will change the name lt data 1 lty data 1 lwa data 1 lty underscore data 1 i will activate up to this level so i'll just lt data 1 is already declared okay just wait a minute okay our Out exporting is also lt underscore data. That's why it is giving the error. So just I will do. I will change the name here because our exporting is also same. By mistake I gave the same name, so I will rename it. Because duplicacy, we cannot go for same name. Yes, we have to go for different name. Now there is no syntax. By mistake, I provided the same to same name. Now we will write the logic. So our two structures, two internal table, and two work areas are ready. Whenever you are writing the logic in the class method, always always click on to this signature button so that you can see the parameters name carefully. otherwise we will do the spelling mistake then we have to correct if they are in front of our eyes it will be easy for us to write the logic suppose i am clicking on to signature button not available so click on to signature you will see all the parameter names and we can proceed with the logic after that so we will firstly fetch data from which table vb ak table so i will write select how many column data i want to fetch four column vbeln er dat er zdt er num from which table i am fetching vbak now i need to store into internal table into table and what is the name of my first internal table lt underscore data. Now I am fetching data from VB AK table based upon what? What is the where condition? Where VB ELN? What is your input to this class method? So what is the name of your input parameter? PVB ELN. So I will simply simply put equal to. P V B E L N. Suppose I am giving P V B E L N is equal to one. So V B E L N is equal to one based upon V B E L N is equal to one. It will fetch data from V B A K table and data will come into this internal table. Why we used equal to? Because we are passing single sales order number at a time. So I used equal to. Now we will fetch data from VBAP table. Now we already put so much stress in all the previous playlist. Always, whenever you are fetching data from dependent table or secondary table or foreign key table never never blindly fetch we should always always check for not initial condition or size sub r c equal to 0 condition it is totally your wish how you want to check so i need to write 
if first internal table is not initial is not initial means is not null is not blank is not empty if this query executed successfully so data will always always come into this internal table it means this internal table is not initial now if our first internal table is not initial then only in that case we should fetch data from dependent table or foreign key tables never never forgot to write this condition now we will fetch data from dependent tables select from vbap table i bought the data of how many column three column vbeln postna matena from from which table i am fetching now vbap what is the internal table name for vbap lt underscore data one now we are fetching data from dependent table based upon what based upon that data present in first internal table and what is the keyword for the same for all entries a what is the name of first internal table lt underscore data and now what is the where condition to fetch data from second table where vbeln is equal to first internal table vbeln so whatever that data will come into first internal table vbeln column it will act as a input for vbap which column vbeln it will fetch data of these three column and data will come into this internal table always golden rule that values always pass from right to left so whatever that data will come into first internal table vbeln column whatever that data is in first internal table vbeln column it will act as a input to fetch data from which table vbap table and whatever is there we are passing to which column of vbap table vbeln column now now we fetched data from vbak table our data is in this internal table we fetched data from vbap table our data is in this internal table now from these two internal tables we need to pass that data to our output internal table because if you want a output from the class method your data should go to the exporting parameter it means from these two internal tables we need to fill this final internal table we need to fill this output internal table so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with writing the la logic part in the class method we declare structure internal table work areas we fetched data from vbak table based upon the input of the class method we checked for not initial condition then we fetched data from vbap table now from these two internal table we will fill our output internal table which is a exporting parameter that part we will do in the next video so that's it in this video thank you